Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to set up Shopify abandoned cart recovery via SMS. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my Shopify store and a customer has already built his account in it. And the customer is going to make a purchase of, let's say this particular product, black t-shirt. And he's just going to click on buy it now. And uh, these are the details he's going to fill in his checkout page. Now, before he's going to fill out the checkout page, so these are the details. His name is Tommy Jack and this is his email address. So before he fills the checkout page and click on continue to shipping, he's just going to cancel this. Okay, so he has basically abandoned his cart. He has basically abandoned my Shopify store cart. Now, the idea is that I will be sending an SMS. Now, this SMS will contain a message along with a URL of the abandoned Shopify cart form. So let me just show you the message that this person that is Tommy Jack has received. Okay, so as you can see, this is the screen view of Tommy. Okay, so this is the screen view of Tommy's mobile. And this is the message that Tommy has got. Hi, Tommy, we are having trouble to process your recent purchase. Please complete the order page. And Tommy is just going to basically click on this particular link. And the link is open, is getting opened. Okay, and the idea is that he's just going to fill in this checkout page. Okay, so as you can see, this is the checkout page. Okay, so you're obviously thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Shopify to SMS sending apps like SMS Horizon? So here I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Shopify and SMS sending apps like SMS Horizon, D7 Networks on Twilio. Now, the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is actually no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you the process. So in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, press enter. Now, there is an important thing I have to remind you. Shopify actually takes a significant amount of time to send the data, especially in case of abandoned cards. So you may have to wait maybe 10 or maybe 15 minutes to receive the data. Okay, so just bear with it. There is nothing to panic. You just may have to wait 10 or 15 minutes so that the customer who has abandoned the shop, abandoned the cart, will receive the SMS. Okay, so this is the website, pabri.com. Just hover on products and here you will find connect. Just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of uh, Pabli Connect. Just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm planning to give it as Shopify. Shopify, let me just correct the spelling. Shopify to SMS Horizon. Now I'm mentioning this again. Other than SMS Horizon, you can use any SMS sending platforms like T7 Networks or Twilio. The method is approximately the same. Okay, so abandoned cart. Okay, so unfortunately, we didn't enter the bracket. Okay, let me just click on update. So we have the name Shopify to SMS Horizon abandoned cart. Of course, you can give any name according to your preference. It's totally up to you. Now, when you click on create, you will have uh, two windows. One is the trigger window and the other is the action window. Now, using these two windows, we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Shopify and SMS sending apps like SMS Horizon. Now, uh, after I created this workflow, I will make sure that the link of this workflow is available in the description box so that you can clone it and access it into your account. Okay, so how about we select the app as Shopify because we want to send the data when a new abandonment card occurs in Shopify. Now the trigger event is, okay, so let me just scroll down, new abandoned card checkouts. Click this, then just click on connect. So when you find connect, you will have uh, two blanks to fill. The first one is for the API password and the second is for the subdomain. So we will start with the easy one, the subdomain. So this is how you get the subdomain. Visit your Shopify store and after HTTPS, you will find these characters. In my case, the characters are Pabli. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. And then we have to enter the private password. And this is how you generate your private password. First of all, you just go to apps. You click here. So this is the page for apps. You just, just scroll down. 
and at the bottom you will find manage private apps you click here so when you click on manage private app you will find a button create new private app click on this green button so basically the idea is that we are going to create a new private app and before we create a private app there are two changes that we have to make first in case of the customer and in case of the order because in both cases we are involving with abandoned cart okay so first we have to give a name okay the private app name is shopify shopify store cart just a random name and in case of the developer email emergency developer email it's just the same email with which you have logged in so this is mine okay and uh, just click on inactive admin api permission so we here we are going to make some changes the first change is for the customer at present it is showing no access we are going to change it from the default no access to read and write okay and just scroll down and there is one more thing we have to do so we have the orders change it from the no access to read and write excellent and we are ready so all you have to do at this point is just click on save okay so now it is asking me to should we create a private app just click on create app so a new private app is getting created so the once the private app is created it will show api secret as well as the api password api token as well as the api secret so the api secret is your uh, api password that we will enter in that we will enter in public connect so it is showing the private app successfully created excellent so let me just scroll down so this is the api key we don't want this but this is the api password that we are interested so let me just click on show okay and let me just copy this so we have copied it and we are going to paste it here easy and just click on save so we have the checkout order so it basically means the time at which this order was created now if you may remember the recently abandoned card was of a person called as tommy jack so when i click on save and send this request it will fetch me the data of the recently abandoned card in our case the recently abandoned card is of tommy jack now what we are going to do here is before I click on save and send test request I am going to make one more abandoned cart. Now this is because we have already sent the data of Tommy cart as an SMS so we are not going to do that again. We want a new set of data. So once again let's have a visit to Shopify. This time I am going to the online store. Okay let me go to the catalog. Now remember this I have logged out out of the Tommy Jacks account and uh, I am working with a new account. At this point I am a new customer. Imagine this okay and this is the product i'm interested in drone okay buy it now so we will be shown the new customer's name so the new customer name is penny snow and this is her email starbuck1233 at the rate gmail.com now uh, like tommy jack she's also just going to cancel this she's not interested in purchasing so at this point the cart has been abandoned by a person called as penny snow this means anytime we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently abandoned cart that is by Penny Snow. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the details of Penny Snow. So this is the email starbuck1233 at the rate gmail.com. And we have the rest of the details. So this is the purchase that she was going to make that is drone, but she didn't make it. But we will make sure via SMS, we are going to uh, make sure that she's going to uh, purchase this drone. Okay, so this is the price that is a thousand rupees. And uh, let's have a look at the rest of the details. So this is the name. This is the last name. And this is her phone number. And on this particular phone number, we will be sending the SMS. Now to send the SMS, we are using SMS Horizon. I repeat this again. Other than SMS Horizon, there are many other apps you can send the SMS. You have Twilio, you have T7 Networks. Many of these apps are integrated with the Public Connect. So you won't have any trouble. All you have to do is just follow the steps. Okay, so in the Choose app, I'm mentioning SMS Horizon. Okay, SMS Horizon it is. So in the action event, we just want to send an SMS. Just click this and just click on Connect. Now we have to enter the username as well as the API key. So to get the username and the API key, let me just log into my SMS Horizon account. Okay, so this is my username and this is my password and we have logged into SMS Horizon. So now we basically want the username. So this is my username. So I'm just entering my username and this is my API key. So this is how you get the API key. In SMS Horizon dashboard, you just click on HTTP API. Okay, so just scroll down and here you will find manage API key. Click this. Okay, so this is the username as well as the API key. So let me just correct the username. I think it was in upper casing. All of the words are in upper casing. 
okay all of the alphabets are in upper casing and then we have the API key so let me just copy this and let me just paste it here okay so we have entered the username we have entered the API key let me just click on save so when you click on save you have a set of fields the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to compose a message from the data that we have received from Shopify via public connect now we have the first field that is for the mobile now remember this this is the mobile number that we have to map okay so what we are going to do here is we are just going to click on here and we are just going to click on the first accordion that is for Shopify and let me just map the phone number so where is the phone number okay let me just scroll down and this is the phone number and it has been mapped easy then this is the sender ID now all we have to do is just copy this code my text and paste it here easy okay let's remove this uh, dot okay and the type is text and the message is a very simple one hello and let's enter the person's name so I think it was penny okay let me just scroll down or let me just type here penny okay so this is the customer hello penny please complete your checkout form and here we are going to map the checkout form so this is the checkout form let me just scroll down and let me just show you the checkout form url so where is the url yes abandoned checkout url so this is the form that she has to complete okay to complete the order okay so very simple message hello penny please complete your checkout form to complete the order in shopify okay and let me just enter the full stop i think the message is ready all we have to do at this point is just click on save and send test request let me do that okay so the response is a positive one so this time let me just uh, show you why the reports okay so the message that she has got okay so this is the message that penny has received hello penny please complete your checkout form so this is the checkout form and she's going to click on this link and to complete the order in shopify excellent so the presence of this uh, report or this message shows that we have a successful integration between Shopify and SMS sending apps like SMS Horizon. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So first of all, you have integrated Shopify to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to SMS sending apps like SMS Horizon. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Shopify and SMS Horizon. Now in case if you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, please visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.